Maddie knew she needed to find a peer-reviewed journal article for an upcoming paper in her psychology course. She turned to Google, and while she retrieved a lot of results, she struggled to find a source that was appropriate for the assignment. After talking with a librarian, Maddie learned her searches could be more productive if she used library databases, such as PsychInfo, and applied strong keywords. Most databases offer an advanced search, which allows Maddie to enter multiple search terms and to combine terms in different ways. A good rule of thumb is to apply two to four keywords. Maddie often starts with her two main ideas, examines her results, and then refines. Under each article title are a set of subject words. These can generate some good keyword ideas. Maddie also makes sure to put some phrases in quotation marks so that the database will search only for resources that have that phrase with those specific words next to each other. Another tip, use an asterisk to search the stem of a word. For example, adding the word experiment followed by an asterisk will search for the words experiment, experiments, and experimental. Right away, Maddie noticed she got fewer results, but the ones she did get were more relevant. Databases also offer additional options to limit or refine searches, although search features will differ across databases. In PsycInfo, the advanced search page has several options to limit the type of research that is retrieved. For example, Maddie can select the age group being studied and or the population studied. In some cases, Maddie needs to find an article from a specific journal. Using a field shortcut in the search bar, Maddie can search for the title of a journal. She types in JN followed by the journal title in quotations. She can then add a keyword specific to her topic. Using appropriate keywords and applying filters, Maddie has learned to make her searches much more effective.